Hey, this is Anand Shimpy from AnandTech.com, and on the left we've got an original iPad 1. On the right we have the new iPad 2, uh, both connected to the same wireless access point. Uh, it's located about 30 feet away. And what I want to do is show you the difference between the iPad 1 with only 256 megabytes, megabytes of RAM and the iPad 2 with 512 megs of RAM. Uh, so let's go and start by opening up the web browser. You can see web page load performance is much, much better on the new iPad. Um, and let's go back to the home screen here, and then we'll start up Infinity Blade on both of them. Now there's a big difference in Infinity Blade uh, application launch time on the iPad 2, uh, which you'll see here shortly. Okay, so we have the play button there on the iPad 2, waiting a little bit, and we should have it shortly here on the iPad 1. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and hit play. Okay, then we're gonna quit out of that and then start up Netflix. You can actually see there was a little bit of a drop in frame rate as we switched back to the home screen. So we're starting up Netflix on both of these. Again, the iPad 2 launches quicker and we're at to the same point with both of them almost. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's go back to the home screen. Now let's bring up Safari. So you'll see on the iPad 2, the Anantec homepage was still loaded in memory. It didn't have to evict it. On the iPad 1, we did have to evict it because uh, iOS ran out of memory. Uh, and there you go. That's the comparison between 512 megs and 256 megs of RAM under iOS on the new iPad.